Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of motivation, communication, and success. And this is definitely crucial and critical in the coming 20 years, period nine. And that's what's the focus of today's video. Welcome to those who are new to my channel and thank you and welcome back again if you have already subscribed and have seen my videos. In this new two-part episode, I'll be sharing with you what period nine, the fire element, would have in terms of an impact from a skill development and profile influence in your chart based on your day master. And before I start with that, I will actually recap some of the period nine elements, what it means from moving from period eight, which is the Kent trigram of the earth element, which was present from the years 2004 to 2024, third February. And officially starting for February this year, as I've mentioned in many of my videos, that we are into period nine, starting from 4 February 2024. So what does it mean for all of us? I will share a lot more in this two-part series. But if you would like an introduction to what period nine is all about, what kind of mindset shifts we should have, as well as why is it important for us to align to this particular period, please do click on this link where I have a lot more videos on what this period is all about and how do you align to it. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more in today's episode. Hello, welcome to this segment where I will share with you what period nine from this year, 2024 to 3rd Feb 2044, what impact it has on you in terms of your Baza chart. Let me just recap a little bit about what period nine is all about. Period nine, it's with the element of fire and it's actually with the Li Gua as shown on the left side of this particular slide. And the Li Gua in terms of image, it is actually similar to what you're seeing on the right hand side, which is the image of fire. So when we look at the attributes actually of the Li Gua fire element itself, it's generally from the south segment which represents fame or recognition. So in this period, it is crucial on an overall basis to build your individual or company brand name and recognition. And the reigning number is nine. This has to do a lot more with the flying star formula where we are looking at where the natal chart nine as well as the annual nine is in terms of harnessing its good qualities and auspiciousness so that it will help us in terms of our wealth, attraction, growth or in terms of relationship as well. This period, it's also about the middle daughter or the middle aged woman. So if you are middle aged woman, congratulations. However, if you are not, do not fret. Basically, do take note of the businesses that actually cater to the middle-aged women, such as beauty, wellness, because the middle-aged women would actually be rising to power in this period itself. Like I mentioned earlier on, when we are looking actually at fame and recognition, it is also about attention and branding. So you'll notice that any industry, any role, if it allows you to basically capture people's attention, help people in terms of their branding, or even for yourself, that would definitely be a plus point from building the skill sets perspective. Now, if we look at what kind of element is the fire element? The fire element is one that changed the state of all other elements. So if you are looking at the fire element, it can actually burn wood, it can melt metal, it can boil water, it can bake food. So therefore, if you're looking at the fire element itself, a lot of times if you want to do well in this particular period, if we are engaged in a role that involves in motivating people, inspiring people, and as well as from a spiritual perspective, you'll notice that a lot of people will be going through what we call spiritual awakening or becoming more aligned with their purpose in life. Therefore, any businesses that 
go into wellness would also really do well. If not, these will actually be the skill sets on a general term that you should be looking at in order to do well in period nine. And emotion wise, of course, people will be looking more towards happiness, joy. Why is this the case? Now, if you have noticed a lot of things have happened, major shakeup in the world for the last couple of years, this will push people to realize that it is more than material wealth, career or the name that is crucial. Having that purpose in life being fulfilled and therefore attaining the happiness, joy and peace within yourself is crucial. Now this is actually one part of the equation. The other part, the fire element is also about impulsiveness, impatience. You will also notice that there's a lot of fights, a lot of strikes, a lot of wars. Basically people do not agree with each other. So which side would you choose to stay on? The happy, joyful, fulfilled side or the impatient, unhappiness and argument side. This is something that only you can decide in terms of what kind of emotion you would actually prefer. Now, then we're looking at fast spreading because fire is fast spreading, right? So therefore, internet, AI, digital, anything related to this will do well in this period. Now, I have another video that talked about period nine in terms of key mindset shifts and the industries itself. I'm pointing to the link here. You can actually search for this video to watch more of what I am discussed in that video itself. And because of the fire element, unlike the earth element of the previous 20 years, it will seem unstable and wavering. So in this period, it is really about being comfortable with changes because there will no longer be long-term security, be it from a skill set perspective, be it from a career perspective. And when we are looking at the fire element, the fire element cannot produce itself it needs wood to produce it. So because of that, in this period, if you want to do well, collaboration or partaking in the ecosystem would definitely do well for you in these 20 years. Let's look a little bit deeper in terms of the key mindset shifts from period eight, which are the last 20 years to period nine in the coming 20 years. Now, this is even more crucial for people who have grown up in period six, period seven, and especially period eight, because we are used to the concept that we have to attain a good degree, work for a good company, climb steady career growth to the top of the career ladder itself, and grow with one company. And this is basically because the mountain image, as you can see, is very stable. It involves overcoming hurdles, going towards the top of the mountain itself. And of course, it represents stability and it will usually take time to build trust and long-term relationships. Now to shift this then to period nine, which is totally unstable as shown in the image of the fire element here, then each of us have to get used to the fact that even if you have a good degree, it probably will allow you the first step into a company or the career that you are looking for, but it will not be working long term for one company because too many things will change in the world, in the needs of the consumers. So when we are looking at managing our individual career growth, we no longer can rely on a company to give us career growth or progression. We individuals have to take our own responsibility and basically go on to have continuous learning, skill set learning and continuously experiment, manage our career in our own hands and build the skill sets that are required as you see the changes within the market itself. Previously, we may look at having that degree and then lasting us for the next 10 to 20 years. Now, it's no longer the case. Sadly, every two to three years, you'll notice that there will be changes in the market. We have to continuously go for the relevant courses to upskill in order for us to stay relevant in the market itself. Now, this then is very crucial from the perspective of building our own resilience. If not, our mental health, 
and financial health, ultimately our physical health will then be implicated. So these are the few key things that all of us in this period, whether we are born on which master, what kind of orientation we are, should really be thinking seriously about when going into this. Now I've shared a lot about these particular series, both period 9 series as well as the period 9 alignment series and if you have not watched those please do remember to click on the individual playlist i will include them in the video description so that you can understand more as well now let's dwell a little deeper into the actual trigram when we transition from the can trigram in period 8 to the lee trigram in period 9 and what I'd like you to take note of is the changes in terms of the line itself. When we move from period 8, the Ken trigram, the first line at the bottom there basically changes from a two dotted line into one single line. So what does it really mean? When it's two broken lines like this, and moving on to one single line, we can look at it from the perspective of security. So when we were in period eight itself, we were looking for that security and to move into period nine, the first thing that would jog people up, it's actually the security, be it financial security, be it security of our homes, security of our career. And as shown in the first video in period nine, alignment series, I quote our tribe to find out what is their key major concern and for a lot of them it's actually the retirement needs. So moving on from period 8 to period 9, understanding that there is no long-term security. What one needs to do in terms of securing this security is crucial. The next other thing that we need to look at is basically the broken line in the center of the Lee trigram. Now, when we look at actually the body itself and split it into three parts, you will see then that in the center would be the heart. And therefore, if we are looking at trying to basically take care of this insecurity within, besides looking at security on the external material portion part of it, a lot of it has to do with cultivating our heart or what you would term in Chinese Siu Sing. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people will be moving on towards looking for fulfillment and their purpose in order for them to reach the abundance that they are looking for. And this I covered a lot in the period 9 alignment series, which I'm pointing now to the link. You can watch the videos in this particular series to understand more. And it's also one of the push for why I'm actually dwelling and moving a little bit more towards the wellness part. And you will notice that I've started from a coaching perspective or even retreats perspective moving towards this. And I hope to see you in my continuous effort in this new area of wellness or spiritual growth. Let's come back to the actual topic itself. What skill sets should you generally be looking at building in period 9 itself? And this has to do with your individual parts of chart. So if you have not gotten your parts of chart, please scan this QR code or go to this link that I've actually shown in this slide itself. I'll also include the link to getting your free parts of chart in the video description. Now, what we are really looking at in terms of period 9's fire element in interaction with your chart is really that of your day master because the day master is really what defines your characteristics. The wood element, fire element, the earth element, metal and water element and with a yin and yang in each type of element, there are a total of 10 day masters. I have created videos of what these day masters mean, what you will do well in terms of your day master if you align yourself towards it in the Asian personality profiling series. If you have not watched any of these videos, do remember to click on this link to watch the relevant videos. Here, 
what we are trying to look at as mentioned earlier on is what does the Li fire element in terms of interaction will have with your individual day master and then from that perspective we look at what kind of orientation or profile influence it has on you and therefore the skill set to pick up now if you have been on my channel for some time and wondering which one do I follow? Do I follow my day master? Do I follow my base profile? Or do I follow my original orientation? Here, what I'm showing you is these 20 years, the relevant skill sets for you to pick up so that you can do well. When we come to individual strength and happiness, we should still look at our individual day master as well as our orientation and profile in order to do well. So that's the key difference. What we have in our natal chart is who we really are. We should first pick up those skill sets. The influence of these 20 years is the general direction you should go and it should basically complement your individual profile or orientation or day master in order for you to maximize your potential and have it become your competency. We have the five elements as I mentioned earlier on. When we look at period nine in terms of a general fire element itself, I will only look at the orientation. What it will represent individually for your chart will depend on your individual chart, individual day masters, individual profile and orientation. So generally for those born on the day of wood, whether you're born on the day of young wood or yin wood, it will be the idea orientation or the output structure. If we are looking at the fire elements of yang fire or yin fire, fire and fire together is basically that of the people orientation. And when we look at the yang earth and yin earth elements, it's that of the analysis orientation. Yang metal and yin metal is process orientation. Yang water and yin water is action orientation. You may ask, what does it mean by this orientation? I will cover that in a little while. So in this first part of this two-part series, I will be covering the wood element and the fire element. And in next week's episode, I will cover the earth, the metal and the water element. So for people born, either on the day of yang wood or yin wood with the fire influence as an idea orientation. It generally means wood producing fire, therefore the output, therefore coming up with ideas, okay? And it can be ideas from the perspective of your craft. It could be also spinning magic with your words. And therefore, how do you basically IP the entire thing? That means ensure that whatever idea that you create turn it into innovation so that it can bring you the additional side stream or income in the longer term itself. So when we are looking at the idea orientation, it can be from the perspective of an artist, which is generally about being creative, looking at the longer term, what ideas can you create into products or services and how do you protect it so that it becomes part of yourself how do you use the fire element in terms of branding and recognition to basically create a brand name for yourself as well and then if you are more the outspoken type then it will probably be more of the performer profile orientation or influence where it is really about public speaking motivating people inspiring people at the same time, utilizing the fire element, how do you take care of branding yourself and creating something that is called your own? Therefore, in terms of skill sets that we should be picking up, whether you are yin wood or yang wood, will be that of creativity. Although creativity is about coming up with a lot of ideas, how do you ensure these ideas become an innovative service and product that the market needs or your audience needs or your company needs basically then would turn from creativity to innovation and if you are looking at branding yourself the skill set of public speaking is definitely critical and then from a branding perspective whether is it for your individual self 
or for your company, what are the critical elements to brand yourself, your company, be it your own service, your own product, or even yourself as an individual. So that's for those born with the young wood and yin wood. And the key thing for young wood and yin wood that you would like to remember in terms of keyword and key phrases is performance and innovation. These will drive your success in the coming 20 years. Now let's take a look at those born with the Yang fire or yin fire as your day master. So it's the people orientation because it's the same element. Therefore, it's really about engaging other people. How do you persuade other people? How do you inspire other people? And this can definitely be done through the internet, especially if you have the sky horse within your chart or you have any of the peach blossom stars within your chart itself. So when we are looking at the people orientation, we have the friend, which is usually influencing and engaging a smaller group. Or you can have the leader profile, which is really about influencing and engaging the larger audience, not only within your company, not only within your local environment or country, it can be overseas and worldwide, especially with the advent of the internet and channels such as YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, even with TikTok nowadays. Now, when we look at the young fire, in fire, day master in terms of skill sets that you need to pick up, then it definitely has to be the influence skill set as well as how do you influence people from their perspective. If you are not sure how, do remember to click on the link that I show in terms of the Asian personality profiling series because that helps you to understand other people as well. How do you motivate them? How do you build a team? How do you network? And in order to do well, if you are looking at inspiring a bigger audience, the skill set of public speaking would also be critical. And your key theme for these 20 years is that about bringing people together towards a perspective inspiring them towards a direction or how do you bring your entire team towards a common goal so that's for the young and yin fire people this comes to the end of this particular episode in next week's episode i will share with you what the period nine fire influence would have for those born on the day of earth metal and water i'll see you next week goodbye